Welcome to this, um, the first ever set I got in Florida. The best set ever. This castle set, yeah. So that's the first part of the gimmick. So now that Thomas has his truck, we come over here. We collect the treasure. We're gonna puff along here. Where the Florida sun makes that a pretty hard to move. So we're just gonna cheat a little bit. We put the gold on display, and ta-da. So I'll get into Thomas. Grant, you can do the job sometimes. Because there's a lot more to criticize. So something really nice is that Thomas has the banners from the end of King of the Railway. Very nice. This is a new one that has the hole in the wheel. Um, and they unfortunately continued this trend with um, other things as we know from today. Um, Thomas has a great face. He has whistle details, big cat, you know, everything we could ever want, and a Thomas. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. This Thomas is really nice. But the troublesome truck it does have a little bit of advantages, but still not that great. Okay, so I like this troublesome truck. But I think it should have the banners on it, um, like Thomas does, and maybe just more detail overall, but overall, I think it looks really nice. Yes, definitely. Now the castle itself is very cool and very detailed. This is, I don't know how much this is, you couldn't tell, don't ask me, but I could tell you this thing is like the perfect starter set. The first set to have because like you can get so many other engines and they'll fit right at home and they'll fit on the track nicely because there's so much space because you even have this back area there's more to it than just the gimmick and there's so much little details like the banners popping out if we can reset the banners here it's not so here That's just cool. Thomas flipping this, but it doesn't flip all the way. You can. If you really wanted to. Um, these night guys suck, but they are really nice, but they come out. They're like impossible to put in, and they fall out easily. But it's still nice, I guess. Yeah. This front podium thing, um, again, if Florida sun and, you know, humidity hasn't affected this thing as much as it did. This would be really nice. And you know, normally it wouldn't stick like things when it stick on the tracks and all. Yeah. Yeah. So. But overall, this set is probably one of the best taken play sets. I agree. I, I really like. There's really no flaws with this. Um. The most flaw is that this one looks off from that one. <laughs> That's about yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. It just looks a little weird. Other than that. Oh, uh, why is this for, though? To push him that way? A stop? Um. To add more plastic so the set would be more money. So we had to pay more. Are you serious? I couldn't tell you. I'm going with that. <laughs> I'm going with that because there's literally no other reason to have that. Yeah. Oh, you can fold this set up, and this is the handle, so you oh, can take this to the go, too. That's helpful. Don't ask me how to fold it up. Couldn't tell you. Why are the orange and the gray? I don't know. Unanswerable Thomas question. Um, anyways, so, overall, uh, if you can find this set, give it a try. Definitely. Definitely worth it. Definitely would look nice in your Tom's collection. A little weird, but it would still look good overall. Way better than, like, a gold Nia. <laughs> so, like, come on. You can tell that's gold because... But the wheels are orange. Like, who designed... Anyways, so, there you guys have it. That is the Take and Play... King Godred's castle, I guess. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going with that.